first in the series of cars that I'm interested in is the new Ferrari 812 Superfast. I gotta be honest, when I saw the launch pictures online, I was a little bit dubious with the styling, but take it from me. As with most cars, when you see these things in person, it is absolutely fabulous. And the interior as well is much more of an upgrade than I thought it would be. Sculpturally, beautiful. A steering wheel to take in a little bit more of the inspiration from the GTC4. Indicator split to two separate buttons. You can now indicate back and front. I know this might sound like small touches, but conventionally on the original F12, all of the buttons were just single buttons. And at times it was a little bit clumsy. When I first experienced an F12, the gearbox blew me away, but as time has evolved, uh, it is beginning to not kind of show its age a bit uh, in the upshifts and downshifts do not feel as crisp as more modern day cars take 488 for example even speciali the shifts on those were super super fast um, but yeah all in all this thing is beautiful and I hope to spend more time with it soon so yes number one that I'm interested in 812 super fast Okay, we're in the Bentley Supersport with Paul, and I just wanted to sort of pick your brains really on what is significant about this car. The Supersport has always been the pinnacle model in the Bentley range. Yep. So Continental GT, we mm -hmm. have the GT V8, V8S, W12, the W12 Speed, and right at the top of the range we have the Supersport. Super so this car is the fastest, most powerful Bentley ever made. Wow. It's okay. also the fastest four-seat coupe in the world, and in convertible form, it's the fastest four-seat convertible in the world. That is some stats. So Fantastic. huge power and torque. Yeah. 710 PS, wow. 700 brake horsepower, over a thousand newton meters of torque. Crikey. So the sprint from 0 to 60 in 3.4 <laughs> seconds. Yes. 0 to 100 miles an hour in just over seven seconds. These are some awesome stats. And go on to a top speed of 209 miles an hour. And of course, at the same time, it's practical too. Absolutely, yeah it is, yeah. Uh, I know it's a well used phrase, but it is an everyday is supercar. A, absolutely, brilliant. So you can take this down to the shops, yep. you can take it out on a racetrack, you can go grand touring with it. Swan down to the Anything you want. And, yeah, yeah, fabulous. And so, but this car's only being made in a small production run? So we'll only make 710 of these cars. Worldwide? Worldwide, wow. represented, okay. by, represented by the 710 PS power. Right, what are you most proud of? I just think the performance of the car is yeah. incredible. It just is absolutely stunning. Fantastic. And I have to say, aesthetically as well, it's beautiful. So, yeah, top work. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you for your time. Pleasure. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. So there you have it. Car number two that I would genuinely consider at this show is the Bentley Supersports. Regular viewers might think that's a bit odd, but I have found myself around quite a few Bentleys lately, always impressed with A, massive traction, and B, savage torque. Uh, and new Supersports looks fantastic. Genuine contender, Stelvio Quadrifoglio, 505 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in under four seconds, best looking SUV this year. Recently spent some time with Alfa Romeo on ice out in Sweden with the standard Stelvio, fantastic car, but I felt after driving the Giulia Quadrifoglio that this, it'll be fantastic. It also looks immense. Lamborghini Huracan Performante. We've all heard things about this car. It's probably fantastic and it, it looks great. I've just never been a big Lambo fan. But what I do love, and this has been controversial so far, not everyone really likes it, but I think they have gone so big, so big on the compressed carbon look. Look at it. it looks like marble on the back end of this thing. Yeah, so something that I would consider, but I'm not sure if I'm fully in the game for it just yet. Yes, in one of the star cars of the show, new Porsche 991 GT3 Gen 2, upgraded to a 4 litre engine, 500 brake horsepower, and importantly, they've maintained that 9,000 RPM rev limit. On top of that, it's also available in a manual gearbox. Not sure which way I'd go, because I'm a massive, massive fan of the PDK in this car, but I have been crying out for a manual, so we'll see which way that goes, but chances are I'll probably end up in one of these at some point. I really, really need you, honey. 
Welcome back to the McLaren Hospitality Suite. I'm currently in a booth where you can come and spec your brand new 720S. But this video is not why I'm here. My spec's coming later in a different video. Today on the stand behind the scenes is a very special 720S customized by MSO. Beautiful spec. I'm not going to say too much more. I'd sooner show it to you with your own eyeballs. Okay, so you might be thinking I've already shown you a 720S recently, and that would be correct. However, what is special about this car is that it is the first bespoke 720S project from MSO. What's unique about it is it's got a paintwork and body finish of unlike anything else I have ever seen. It's got a fantastic gradient that goes from a carbon exposed bonnet that grades down to a beautiful light red tone that transfers to normal paint towards the back. So the front of the car starts off carbon, and the rear of the car blends out to conventional paint. The effect of which is just, it baffles cameras, it baffles your own eye. When you move with it, the hues and shadows on it just pop up and it shows the lines of the cars fantastically. Also, this also has the MSO gold wheel options, which on this car actually suits it really well. Guys who are tuning in, this is my friend Sasha. Uh, we're working on quite an exciting project together, which will be coming soon. So we'll unveil more about that. Exactly. It's gonna, that's gonna be hyper it's exciting. It's all happening. It's all in motion. And what's great is, it's gonna be involving you and available to you. So stay tuned on this. But today is all about actually, involving you is a good idea. It, I know, right? We, we need, should we're work gonna on have that some actually. Feedback about oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Let me put it in my notes. <laughs> Let me put it in my notes. <laughs> 